The only cable news show that loves money and yachts as much as freedom. It is time for Lifestyles of the Rich and Shameless, the game where we learn how stars of show and stage and big business waste their fortunes and their lives. Here's how it works. I will read true stories from the lives of the rich and shameless. Our panelists will guess who I'm talking about, whoever gets the most right, wins a solid gold private jet. Ha! Sadly, Chris had to leave. But entering the game, it's our ringer. It's our game night all-star. Cat right. Tiff! Yes, That's Kat! Right. That's right, and I'm not here to lose. If she's not Richard and Dave, be scared. Are you all ready to play? <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't smell fair. Let's do it. It's not fair. We didn't give her the answers because watching Cat lose is almost more fun than watching her win. Yeah, they <laughs> rig it so I lose. You know that. Okay, Cat, question number one for you. Which of these rich and shameless once bought a Cadillac, then paid to have it transformed into a custom Batmobile? Was it Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, or Queen Elizabeth? This is really hard because the obvious answer would be Justin Bieber because many people, such as myself, still see him as a child. But that's probably not it because it's too easy. So, um, sorry, um, Chris Brown? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. No! Should have gone with the guts, no! Ms. Timpf. No! Uh, it was I knew it! Justin Bieber. You saw that! It's only round one. The questions are pretty easy, know. round one. Yeah, yeah. No, so now you're... you're Co-defendants are going to try and get on the stand. All right, Richard, which of these rich and shameless bought a private island for his then eight-year-old daughter? Was it Ludacris, Tyrese Gibson, or Keanu Reeves? Ooh, uh, Keanu Reeves. No, that's incorrect. <laughs> he bought an island for no one. No island, no man, no woman, no cry. Dave, this is for you. No one's on the board. You could hop into the lead with this. Which Wait, who? You didn't tell us the answer for oh, the last one. Jesus. It was Tyrese, obviously. It, God, sorry. yes. Stop yeah. bothering me. Stop talking. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just stalling. I don't JK, know any of this. IKR. Um, okay. Which of these rich and shameless bought a 500 year old Bavarian castle in Germany, spent $4 million to renovate it, then sold it at a loss? by spending just one night there to cover tax debt to the IRS. Was it Wesley Snipes, Sinbad, or Nicolas Cage? Well, I know he had tax problems, so I'll go Wesley Snipes. No, it was Nicolas Cage. Sorry, we made the, made the whole thing too easy, except for Kat. It was, uh, it was Nicolas Cage. He was, he was the one. All right, Kat. Right, I'm feeling okay yeah, now. Yeah, no, we've reset the whole game. Yeah, Here you go. Like... Wh which of these rich and shameless bought a building in Manhattan and turned it into a luxury garage for his personal car collection? Was it Kanye, Jay Leno, or Jerry Seinfeld? I feel like I see Jay Leno around cars a lot. Ooh. So Jay Leno? That is incorrect. It's Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld is also a huge car guy. Uh, who Everybody's got cars. Yeah, but he lives in New York. Jay Leno, he lives in, in like Burbank. Okay, How Richard, I... this one is for you. Which of these rich and shameless paid $450 million for a Leonardo da Vinci painting? Was it Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Prince Charles, or My Name is Prince? And I am funky. Who was it? Ooh. Leonardo da Vinci, oh, $450 million. Uh, oh, this is hard. $450 million. $450 million. I think it's um, the Saudi prince. And Richard Fowler, the first one on the board with one, with a commanding lead. Congratulations. That hurt. That, that, is hurt. Correct. that hurt me. All right. Which of these rich and I'm shameless. I'm proud of my one point. Which of these rich and shameless wore an $11,000 gown to an MTV award show as a four-year-old? Was it Blue Ivy Carter, Willow Smith, or Angela Pickles? Um, I just want to say, because I haven't been able to stop thinking about it, just for the record, what the government did to Wesley Snipes was really evil, and we should abolish the IRS. Taxation is theft. Taxation is theft. <laughs> um, well said. Thank you for well, that. I'm Thank sorry. You. What was the question? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Rich, I lost that. Rich uh, and Shameless, $11,000 gown, MTV award show, four-year-old. It was a four-year-old child. Blue Ivy Carter, Willow Smith, or Angela Angelica Pickles. Pardon me. I said it wrong the first Will, time. Will Smith, of course. No, it was not Willow Smith. It was Blue Ivy Carter, who has her own strain of reefer. Richard's still in the lead. Round yeah. number three. Cat, here you go. Which of these rich and shameless owns his own tank on a Schwarzenegger, Clint Eastwood, or Paul Rudd? 
I don't know. I don't know anything about any of these people. Paul Rudd once grabbed my uh, boobs at a party when I was 18. That's oh, a true well, I'm story. I'm glad to hear you were 18. Yes, I certainly um, was. I don't know. Um, are, uh, Oh, mm -hmm. uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, Captain yes. Board. Yes. Woo! Oh. oh, my will to live, it's back. It's, it's been, yes, rehabilitated. Richard, which of these rich and shameless spent $130,000 to rent out the entire first class cabin of a flight from New York to France so she could be alone for the eight hour trip? Bette Midler, Mariah Carey, or Kamala Harris? That would be Mariah Carey. Yes, that is. She had a vision of love. I love to poop in my <laughs> own bathroom and first. Dave, which of these rich and shameless had a $24 million diamond implanted in his forehead? Was it Lil Uzi Vert? Was it Lil Wayne? Or was it Little Richard? Um, for the record, I think what Paul Rudd did was wrong, and I'm sorry that that happened. Uh, in so his defense, no, I kidding. asked him if he wanted to touch my breasts, and he said, sure. Okay. <laughs> I still think it was wrong, and I'm sorry that that happened. <laughs> Consent, Consent um, was given, okay. is what Kennedy's it's, trying to Consent say. Consent was given. Yeah. We're big on that. Touch my boots. I don't know. <laughs> uh, his Consent. Consent is sex. Little, I'm going <laughs> Little Richard. Final answer. Well, Little Richard Fowler, it was actually Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, Lil Richard Fowler wins the show. He yeah. wins the solid gold prize. Everybody jet. knows that. No, Smith it's second and in Fowler a row. were in cahoots. Second in a row. That's why Smith kept trying to stall as soon as Fowler got one point. I'm on to you. Yeah. I'm on you to should, you. Uh, Ken, you might you think I'm up, dumb because I'm blind, but I'm on to your little you game. You should open up an investigation. Yeah. I so, it. Richard, you, know you told me I could use that jet. I will be launching an investigation. Hi, John Durham? Yeah. Yep. I need your He's investigation here pronto. Richard told so me I could Kennedy, use the jet on the weekends. Where do I get my jet and where can I park it? Hi, Paul Rudd. Uh, you, <laughs> I just want to figure where I could park it. Are you guys going to pay for <laughs> you can, this? You can park is, it in Jerry no. Seinfeld's enormous <laughs> car America, cabin. you are witnessing an injustice. <laughs> it's an insurrection. I hope you will stand with me. <laughs> we need Justin Trudeau to arrest these gentlemen right now because they hate freedom. Uh, party panel, thank you so much. Kat, Richard, and Dave, well done, Richard. <laughs>